Hi guys, welcome to the channel. So I'm back from San Francisco. I had a great time meeting the people from 1617.com and I have a product that I want to show you guys. This is something that's going to be revolutionary, guys. For all those people out there that are wondering where can I find a good, decent candle making kit, guys, this is it. Design of candle making kit, okay? Why do I think this is revolutionary? I'm going to tell you why, okay? When you go to the website, 1617.com, this is called Iridescent Candle Making Kit. Why is it called Iridescent Candle Making Kit? Because you get to pick, you get to pick your vessels within the Iridescent Evermore cylinder. Vessel line, okay? I picked up the black one because I, this is my favorite, guys. I love the, the oil slick effect that this has. Look how beautiful, okay? So when you order this, this kit from 1617.com, guys, it's gonna give you the, um, it's gonna give you the chance to choose which which vessel do you want to use, okay? And they have so many different ones within the iridescent collection. I think they're all beautiful. I think either one you get, you're gonna love, okay? This kit is gonna this kit is gonna make you one 13 ounce candle. This is a very heavy candle, guys, and I think it's gonna be the most I think it's gonna be the most beautiful candle, guys. This is gonna teach you what a beautiful luxury candle should be, okay? And that's why I love this kit, okay? So let me tell you what it comes in this kit. It comes with a pre-measured wax that you need. This is previously known as soy bliss wax. It's, it's known now as number seven, okay? This wax changed name from soy bliss to number seven. Okay, this is the exact amount that you're gonna need to make this candle. It comes with a double CDN number three wicks, okay? These are perfect for this candle vessel. It's gonna give you a chance to pick which fragrance oil within the fragrance oils that 1617 makes. Are, to me, they're all the best on top of the line. So you're gonna pick which oil you wanna uh, for the candle. So this one, I want ounce. It's gonna give you the wooden lid for the candle, guys. I'm telling you, it's gonna give you, they call it the wick kit. The wick kit, this is what's gonna be helping you place the wick at the bottom of the jar, okay? Let me show you how this works. You place it at the bottom of the jar, and you see right over there, those two holes, that's where you're gonna be placing your wigs, okay? So it also comes, this also comes with the wig stickers that you're gonna be using to place the wigs, to secure the wigs to the jar, okay? And also, don't forget guys, by law, you have to stick this on every candle that you make, this is a warning and sticker in here that I have to buy a lot have to be there. And also it's gonna give you uh, the burning instructions, okay? This goes at the bottom of the jar, okay? It also comes with step-by-step -step instructions. And it also gives you a video tutorial on it, okay? It has the link so you can go to the video tutorial so you can watch a tutorial on your TV or on your phone while you're making the candle, okay? So we're gonna be making this candle together, yes! So I'm gonna get everything set up, guys. And I'll be right back, yes! Okay, guys, we're back. So let me just move the camera a little bit so you can see better. Okay, so guys, uh, for this, I'm gonna be using, I'm gonna make believe that I don't, I have no experience making candles and the instructions in here, they recommend to use a Pyrex container, heat proof, okay? because I'm gonna be melting this on the microwave, okay? Just like, again, just like if I didn't know anything about candle making, okay? I just wanna show you how easy this is, okay? So, step number one, I'm gonna be following the steps from the car, okay, guys? Step number one, place the jig set, place the wick centering tool at the bottom of the jar, okay? But before I do all this, like I told you all the time, guys, I like to always clean my vessel with alcohol to make sure it's very clean. You know, it just came from the manufacturer, so you don't know what's, what kind of residue is there. So you wanna make sure, you wanna make sure that the, uh, the, that the wicks uh, stay in place. Sometimes it has some kind of dust or some kind of film, or sometimes, you, you don't know. You just wanna make sure that you are gonna be making this, you know, perfectly. So just to get this out of the way, guys, I'm gonna, first, I'm going to stick the warning label but you have to put it on every candle that you put in there. So I do this as step number one, so you don't forget. 
Oke, okay, jadi putih. Stick at the bottom of the, the candle like this. Oke. Okay. Perfect, so this is done. Now I'm gonna take the wick placer. I'm gonna put it in here. Okay, and I'm gonna take the wigs and I'm gonna put the wig, uh -huh, the wig sticker on each wig in here. The second one. This is why I love these guys. It has everything for you. Perfect. And I like to press them really hard to make sure you have full contact. So here they are. The two wigs. Okay. Now some people can just do this by hand. By uh, by. Uh, I like to use, I like, this is a tip that I want to give you guys. I like to use a straw that I call a plastic straw. Uh, this is going to help me on the placement of the of, of the wigs, okay? And the reason why I like the plastic is because I can pinch it so I can hold the wig. Otherwise, it will fall out, okay? So I take the wig in here, hold it, and then take out the, the sticker off. Go and look through on the whole thing here and just... Isn't that easy? And then just do the same with the other one. I think for people that have like shaky hands, stuff like that, I think using the straw is a, is a great idea. So, you know, it's, if you feel confident that you, you can place it with that, it's fine. But uh, this is just something like, you know, to guide you to, to make it better, okay? To, to make sure that you got the right position, okay? And then you just take the other one. Perfection, okay? Then you just take this out. And here you go. Now, I like to press this really hard. I like to press this hard, guys, because I want to make sure that this gets secure into the glass. You're not going to have any other chances to secure the wigs, okay? So now, make sure that you press really hard to make full contact. Sometimes the kind of glue dots, you need to give it like a 30 second or 20 second for them to really like uh, oppress them to make sure that they adhere really hard, okay? Okay, perfection. And now, look how easy this is, guys. This is not gonna move, guys. This is not going anywhere, okay? I love it because we have the two secure, a secure thing here that where they, uh, with the wig locks, okay? So this is not gonna, it's not gonna move anywhere, okay? So I'm gonna put this to the side. Okay, and guys, I'm gonna be using the microwave to melt the wax. So first, let me just clean this up. Out of the way. Okay, so I'm gonna take the wax. Now, this is called number seven, guys. Remember, this is the best wax I've ever worked ever. To me, it's nothing like, it always gives me the best HD and the best CT. Okay? And I'm just gonna pour it into the, into the Pyrex. I don't wanna get my hands dirty, so that's why I'm pushing it like this. Make sure I sh uh, if you're doing this with children, uh, make sure that the children are not doing this step because uh, this is going to get very hot, guys. You have to be very careful, okay? So you take the wax, and here it is. Okay, guys, I'm going to go into the kitchen. I'm going to microwave this, okay? I'm going to make it in. I'm going to. Let's see what it says in here. Using a 900 watt microwave oven, we heat for five minutes. Remove and stir, then heat for another 30 seconds to shift the desired temperature, okay? The desired temperature is between 200 and 205, okay? So I'm gonna go to the kitchen and the thermometer, and I'm gonna heat up this until I reach between 200 and 205, okay guys? I'll be right back. Yes! Okay guys, I'm back. So I got in here the wax. You have to be very careful, guys, because it's very hot, okay? I put it for five minutes on high, and I took the temperature, guys, and it needs to be between 200 and 205, okay? So this is the temperature that this needs to be, this wax, number seven, needs to be hot in order to incorporate the oil, and that's the best temperature that you can find, that you can be able to mix really like a, to bind the oil with the wax, that's the preferred uh, temperature, okay? It went over 200 because the microwave was very fast. Let me see how, how hot this is now. Okay, it's still too hot. So I'm gonna wait until it comes to 200. 
between 400 and 205. Okay, so let me tell you, let me tell you about ethanol, the fragrance oil that I chose for this beautiful candle, guys. Let me get the information that I have around here. <sighs> it's, it's like when I smell these fragrances, guys, from 1617.com, it's like they tell me a story, they tell me like a place of uh, happiness, to place of uh, memories come back to me, you know, and the complexity of the fragrances, it's so unique, you know, that it has, it has um, depth, you know, it's not like something that you smell, okay, I smell like a, like a, a typical fragrance or that you, all you smell is like one, one scent, like one, uh, one note, this one has the most beautiful note combination, guys. Goodness. Okay, rich magnolia blossom and sultry jasmine dance with notes of frangipiani. Frangipiani is plumeria. Okay, in this eternally sensuous fragrance from 1617. Anchoring notes of tobacco leaf, vetiver, and dark vanilla around this exotic treasure. The fragrance family is oriental floral. The top notes are magnolia blossom, middle notes frangipiani and jasmine. And base notes, tobacco and vanilla. It doesn't get any better than that. Oh my god, it's very sensual, very comforting, very, I don't know, it's... I love the magnolia blossom, you know, and the, um, and the jasmine together. Beautiful, okay? So I'm gonna leave this in here. So I'm gonna be using the whole amount, okay? Into this wax, where I'm going to wait until it comes to temperature between 200 and 205 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, let's see. Okay, it's 230. It's still too hot. You have to remember guys, do not touch the Pyrex container because it's very hot, okay? So if you are making this candle with, ch with children, do not let them come near this because they're gonna get burned, okay? So be careful. So while this gets cool, I, wanna, I just want to uh, tell you a few things about 1617 guys. I just want to, you know, guys, uh, this weekend for Memorial Day weekend, they're going to have a sale, okay? Uh, they're going to have 10% off on the wax and the fragrance oils, okay? So if you wanted to stock up on the fragrance oils and wax, now this weekend is the time to do it, okay, guys? And they're going to have 20% off on all the weeks, okay? So if you need if you need CDN weeks, guys, this is the time to get it. And guys, don't forget to come to... Not yet. Don't forget to come this Sunday, May 29th at 12 Pacific time, guys. Um, I'm going to be talking all about my trip to San Francisco. I'm going to be talking all about my candle line. Uh, all about my visit to 1617.com. Um, we made a video that I, it, it should be coming up very soon. And if you didn't see the live stream that we did uh, last Friday, I'm going to link it down below so you can go and take a look at it, okay? Okay, guys, we're back. So the temperature now is... It's, Perfect, it's at 200. Beautiful, now I'm going to add the fragrance oil. Just dump it all in. And all you need to do, guys, is just mix for 20 seconds. Oh my God, it smells so good in here, guys. Be careful, it's still hot. Again, guys, this gets very hot, so it's now it's cool to the touch. Okay, so now it's time to pour. And here we go. Beautiful, yes! It's the fragrance oil, and I'm using the wax name is uh, number seven. Again, this is the designer candle making kit from 1617.com. Okay, guys, let me just put this aside. Show you the beautiful candle. Let me see if I can bring this. I'm going to bring you over so you can see the beautiful candle, guys. Look at that beauty. Look at that beautiful candle. Yes. So now we're going to let that cure for two weeks. Actually, you know what? I, I, cure, I cure my candle when I use this wax, guys. Let me just pull, pull out a little bit. Guys, when I use this wax, I only cure for two days. And I'm telling you, I get amazing HD every single time. 
So that's why you don't have to wait, you know? Like, in your, if you use 100% soy wax, you know, 464, all the kinds, you have to wait for two weeks, and then you, you don't know what results you're going to get. This is going to give you the perfect candle each time. I think this will make a beautiful present to anyone, guys. And again, you know, it's it's so easy. It's so much fun, you know, for you to really uh, introduce yourself or someone that, that you love or uh, somebody in your family, somebody that, that, you know, anyone, you know, that's make a, a great present. Okay, guys, so I'm going to leave the video here, guys. I'm going to show you the, I'm going to post pictures after the candle solidifies and I'm going to put it at the end of the video. Okay, guys, so again, I'm going to link everything down below and don't forget to see me next Sunday, May 29th at 12 noon Pacific time for uh, my live stream, okay? I'll see you then. Take care. Bye. Yes!